In 15.2, our dashboard now displays conditional formatting with bars inside grid and pivot cells with numeric values. Let's see how this works. Our dashboard is already connected to a SQL database containing sales data. First, let's see how to add data bars to the grid cells. Click here to add a grid, drag and drop the subcategory, profit, and sales fields to the columns section. Go back to subcategory, click the drop down, and choose sort by sales. Change the sort order to descending by clicking on the subcategory again. Now let's add some data bars to the profit column. Click its drop down, go to add format rule, and select bar. Here in the bar editor, we can use different options to adjust the look and feel. The two tabs here allow you to set colors for the positive and negative range values. I'll switch the positive values to a light blue and leave the negative this pink color here. When I click apply, you'll see the result here in the dashboard. By default, the lengths of the bars correspond to the minimum and maximum values respectively. So here we have a maximum value of 298,000. Let's go back to the editor, make sure we choose the positive tab, and switch the maximum setting from automatic to number. Then I'll set the maximum value to be higher than 298,000. I'll choose 400,000. Click apply, and you'll see how the bars adjust immediately. There's some options down here that also adjust format settings. Allow negative axis splits the bars visually with a zero point, with negative on the left and positive on the right. Draw axis highlights the zero point with a black line. And show bar only takes away the text value in each cell. I'll click OK, and now you'll see that the values show up as tooltips. OK, let's add some formatting to the sales column now. Click on the column header, select Add Format Rule, Bar Color Ranges, and choose the red, green, and blue set. Once the editor pops up, you can hit Apply to see how it looks. Each cell is filled with one of three colors based on a percentage range of its values. You can always add colors and adjust ranges if you need to. Here I'll add a fourth purple color and divide the percentage values by 25%. The reverse button reverses the color coding. And you'll see we have the same options available to adjust the axis and show the bar only. I'm going to switch things up a bit here and work with the pivot grid. I'll right click the grid and choose convert to pivot. You'll see our formatting rules still applied to the columns. Remove the profit column and clear the formatting rules for sales. Now drag the order date to the columns section and category to rows. Now I'm going to expand the rows. I'll go to the data tab and under initial state, choose expand row groups. Okay, let's color in these cells with some more formatting rules. Click the sales drop down and choose add format rule bar gradient ranges. And we'll choose the red to blue gradient. Click Apply in the editor to see the results. You'll see that the only cells colored now are each main category. You can adjust this by using the intersection mode. I'll set it to the last level and click Apply. And now you'll see that the cells are colored for the lower level items. And you can also choose a specific level to highlight as well. Let's adjust some gradient ranges. I'll change the number of ranges to 10, then click Generate Ranges. You'll see the number of ranges and percent change accordingly. Then I'll switch the bottom color from pink to green. And of course, our axis options are available here as well. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress. Thank <laughs> you.